gynecological bilharzia remains undiagnosed by the majority of medical practitioners in South Africa. Now, as a result, an estimated 2 million women have suffered damage to their genitals. Joining me on Skype is Dr. Erin Chetland from UKZN. She's going to unpack this scary statistic for us. Now, before we get into it, Dr. Chetland, can you just briefly explain to us what bilharzia is and how it's contracted? It's a worm that goes through people's skin and you contract it in fresh water and uh, all the African countries have it and um, some Asian and some South American countries as well. And it's known to cause in South Africa and the type that we have in Africa mostly is known to cause bloody urine and pain. All right. And what is the state of this disease in South Africa itself? Uh, about 5 million people have the disease, boys and girls. Um, and most of them are untreated in the world it's 250 million people. Wow. Now, why are most of them untreated? Because the treatment uh, is not freely available. It's very, very expensive in South Africa. It's available for free in the rest of the world, but there's some hitches in, um, in uh, receiving the donations here in South Africa. But uh, so that's why it's mainly untreated. It's too costly, actually. When you say it's too costly, how, how much would it cost? What would, take to, what would it take to get the medication here to treat these people? Well, in South Africa, it costs about uh, 40 rands per tablet. So I'd have to do a quick calculation. It's about uh, 5 million people times 40 rands times 3, 4 tablets in average. So you can make the, make the calculations. Wow. How does Bilharzia compare to other African countries or even Asian countries when it comes to Bilharzia? How does South Africa compare? Yeah. Um, it's in the, uh, what should I say, it's more neglected here than it is in many other countries. Like China has managed to combat it completely almost. They have around 2% in some of the regions. Egypt is done very, very well in combating. Brazil is almost uh, taking it out. Uh, in uh, Uganda, they've treated it uh, countrywide three times. Burkina Faso have done it twice. So there are a lot of African countries that have done a major effort. Uh, even our neighboring countries like Mozambique uh, are busy rolling, it, uh, rolling the treatment out. Now, what do we need to do to get to, to a stage where we can be on the same level as the countries you just mentioned? Oh, gee, yeah. You know, all of the countries are actually uh, way behind in this disease. It's called a neglected tropical disease, and and the, the part of the disease that we're attacking, which is gynecological bilharzia, is completely unknown. So it's not, uh, the clinicians wouldn't even know how to diagnose it. They could have a woman who comes to them with um, pain, uh, bleeding, uh, stinking discharge, and what do you think when you have that? You think you have a sexually transmitted disease. So they, are, uh, they are treated in the wrong way again and again, some of them, because they have a disease that is unknown to us, uh, to us doctors. So it's two million women in South Africa, we think, have, this, uh, have the gynecological version of, of the Pilharzia. 